At the PK5 district on the outskirts of Bangui, Sustain Kianzui limps away painfully as he tries to do a few chores. This district was a flashpoint at the height of the conflict, and he, like many others here, bear the scars of that violence. He says he was ambushed one evening along with 12 others. The attackers fired at them. Kianzui's little brother died. He escaped with leg injuries. The attack, however, changed his life permanently. But because you have been Before I was a trader, but my store was destroyed and the goods stolen. Now, because of my leg, I cannot do much or walk long distances. Just next door is Levi Iniata. He too shows the scars he's been left with following a similar attack. I was seriously hurt. Now I cannot handle heavy physical tasks. I just stay at home. They just make up the statistics of hundreds of thousands of people affected by the conflict. The International Criminal Court opened a formal investigation of atrocities committed in the Central African Republic. Currently, the court's observers are in the country collecting evidence. This is Kanduru, the main military base during President Francois Bozizé's rule. It is here that Bozizé detained the dissenters and those he considered his political enemies. It is also here that the Seleka rebels operated from when they overthrew Bozizé back in 2013. This facility has now been renovated by the United Nations. It is now here that the main perpetrators of the violence here in the CAR will be detained pending their extradition to The Hague. That's why the justice was rendu. For a long time there was impunity here. Now we are cooperating with the ICC to make sure the perpetrators of these crimes are arrested and prosecuted for what they did, no matter who they are. But the victims have mixed reactions to the ICC process. I sincerely believe and trust the ICC will arrest and prosecute those who committed these atrocities. I do not care much for the ICC process. They will not heal my leg or give me back my life. They will not catch the people who did this to me. It is a touchy subject here in the CAR, but one the country will nevertheless have to deal with as it makes the journey towards peace and stability. Penina Karibe, CCTV. In Bangui, the Central African Republic.